Hey guys, it's Joey from Clash Day Video Productions here. Just gonna make a quick update video here because I haven't been rail fitting for a while, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. I'm gonna talk about some of the rebuilds that NS has been doing. And for this website, I'm gonna, or for this update video, I'm gonna use the NS-9 website from um, Chris R. Toth. And I'm also going to give full credit to him and all the photographers that um, have taken these pictures. So um, I give them full credit. So anyway, with that being said, here we go. I'm going to go through the roster here. Now, if you're a diehard Norfolk Southern fan like me, or if you're a real fan to NS at all, you're probably familiar with these. C40-9s, they're the only Dash 9s that had the standard cab. They, um, there were 125 examples of them built. There are now 77 units active at the moment because they are being rebuilt as we speak into... these AC44 C6Ms which is basically a fancy term for an AC4400 CW basically they're a little bit fancier and, and uh, this is 4000 and 4001 I call these Sonic the Hedgehog ants because it looks like Sonic the Hedgehog um, one of my buddies also calls it the Blues Brothers I've also been heard them be called Sonic Bonnets as well for the obvious reason. I caught 4,000 and 4,001 when they were a week old. Um, and 4,001 actually just hit a heat, a heat kink in the, in the rail in uh, Pennsylvania on the call train and derailed. But thankfully it can be rebuilt. Because um, the frame wasn't destroyed. But my question is, is it still going to be in this paint scheme or is it going to be in this paint scheme, which is the Junian inspired scheme? You can see, um, and I'll go into this real quick, the Juniana uh, rebuilds are have the uh, black with the uh, Conrail blue outline like so. The ones that are being rebuilt at the Roanoke shops have the Tuscan Red N and W inspired. And then the ones that are just rebuilt at either Fort Worth or um either Fort Worth or um Erie are just plain black and white, like so. Now I've seen four C6Ms. I've seen 4,000, 4,001, 4,007, and 4010 so far. So they're getting around. There are not too many of them. But anyway, they're around. You just gotta look hard for them. And I suppose you're wondering are there gonna be any rebuilds? Are they going to be rebuilding the uh, Catfish, the C40-9W, since they're doing the rebuild program for the standard cab dash nines? Are they going to do a rebuild program for the wide cab dash nines? The answer is yes, and I had wondered that too. They're going to be doing, here's a mouthful for you, an AC44C6CF. And basically what that's going to be is basically um, same thing as the AC44C6M, you know, um, D, uh, DC to AC conversion, new electronics, new control stand, new electrical, you know, everything. So, yeah. Anyway, with that being said... And the um, 
C, the AC44 C6CF is going to be in the 8500-8600 series since there's going to be 1089 of those. So it's going to be continued on from the um, C40-8.5 rebuilds, which comes to these. These are rebuilt from the old standard cab dash eights and oh man. I hate to gripe and complain, y'all, but I I don't like this. Just no. That SD sixty E style wide nose on the GE body. It just doesn't look right to me. I mean, if they had gone for a regular GEY cab on there, it probably wouldn't have been so bad. But, and I mean, I get that that style of Y cab is probably for better crew visibility and all that, but it just, I don't know. Just doesn't look right. Now, I've only seen one 8.5. It was on V17 about a month or two ago, I think, and it was the 8506. It was leading, and uh, anyway, and you can see that there's not that many on the roster. So, anyway, yeah. And then finally, y'all remember these. The SD70 standard cab. They're supposed to convert those into SD70 ACCs. When I'm not sure, but they're going to give it AC track. They're going to give it the AC traction treatment, give it a wide nose, new electrical system, the whole nine yards. And why that actually has an NW um, subletter, I have no idea. That's just weird. Considering that that's not an XNW unit, but whatever. So yeah, that's what they're going to do to those. They're going to give that a um. They're going to give that a wide a wide cab and AC traction and all that. So that's going to be really interesting interesting to see what that looks like. That'll probably just look like your typical SD70 Mac or something like that I don't know it's gonna be really interesting to see what they end up doing with it. I'm not sure if they're gonna give it a regular EMD nose or if they're gonna give it an SC60 E type nose or something only time's gonna only time will tell what they're gonna end up doing with those but anyway that's the plan for that is to uh, convert that to an SC70 uh, ACC and then it doesn't end there Oh, went back too far. You may remember that Union Pacific sold off a hundred of their SD90 Mac models to Norfolk Southern. And, um, NS renumbered them, and you know NS doesn't have the nose headlights, so basically what they did here, and uh, what they did there was they came out with these, the SD70 ACU. Now this is a sexy rebuild, y'all. I mean, I've <laughs> I 